Okay. Yes. My God. It's it's currently twelve forty five a.m. But this is already my last game for tonight. <laughs> it's called Time and Times and Galaxy with S. Not only time, but times and galaxy. I actually have covered the demo uh, last year. Last year, there's an event called Ludo Naracon 2023, and I actually got accepted to the event. So I actually played two story in the beginning already. But this is a new closed beta of the game. So they said this is going to be like five to six hour content. However, I'm definitely not going to play that long. Because this is still a closed beta, and I have no idea if I will get a uh, review key later on. So I'm going to save it for future possibility. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy the stream, enjoy the broadcast. This is a good, a great game, really. Back then I have played the demo. Uh, yeah, on 2023 and it was great. It was so fun for someone who liked that kind of investigative type of game. So definitely worth to check. Anyway, as usual, if you want to know more about the game, feel free to type exclamation point G or game in the chat room. Enjoy the stream, enjoy the podcast. What a cute little robo. I'm not using this character as back then. What brings you to the scanner? Mm -hmm. I can't choose correctly.
someone flashier. I am flashier. I'm not flashier. Oh, like a human. Okay. Arwin Fates, legendary assignment editor of the Times and Galaxy. They were decorated report to themselves before stepping behind the story desk. You're looking at reported bot. The system's first ever reporter bot. Hmm. Everything I can see bolted to this flow anyway. I'm glad you are here, intern. We are running on fumes this cycle. There was a police chase on August just now. Sounds like it ended in a crash. Normally, I wouldn't send you to something like this. Not on your first cycle. But we need you down there now. I will depart as soon as possible. Are you sending me alone? How do I get there? Our photog at Kasar will meet you in the shuttle bay. Ooh, it's human but still has a great eye for photos. Two eyes actually. Hurry plan aside and get me a story. And while you're an orc, I will have security bot upgrade your clearance. It will give you access to the rest of the ship, except the bridge of course. Good luck, hon. Okay. So just go? You're still here? Better get going or you'll miss the best stuff. I have some questions first. What would you like to know? What do I do when I get to Og? You need to get information to assemble the best news story possible. That info might come from interviews and by poking around the scene for details. Central said you are outfitted with special software, something called Build a Story. When you get down planet side, try using it. What would you like to know? I'm really the first robo reporter ever. Is Ark as dangerous as they say? Ark isn't so bad for organics. But for robos and sea like me, with our robo bodies. Some pickers get desperate, the wrong one will strip you for parts. New tech like you would fetch some serious bucks. Also, you will get sand in your gyros. What would you like to know? Am I? I'm really the first robot reporter ever. We have plenty of robots on board. They clean up, cook, answer phones. But robot reporters, you're definitely the first. There are two other robot journalists here though, our photography bot and our copy editor. Photography bots are widely used, but copy bots are rare, a, discontin a discontinued precursor to the reporter bot project. Mm. After a trial run several hundred cycles ago, Central Station deemed copy bots unfit for mass production. They tried to recall our copy bot, but we refused. No way I'd scrap someone who spells that well. Ah, uh, okay. What would you like to know? Goodbye for now, Arin Fates. That's all, thanks. Get out there, kid. Let us proud. Okay. How to go? Hello. Are you at? At Kasar. Guess you're the new intern. Oh boy. Must have some critical thinking turning those fancy sprockets. Seen plenty of robo photographers, but I, you are the first robo reporter I've met. I'm at at Quasar. I take photos for the Times and Galaxy. Nice to meet you, Ed. Arwin Fate said you were on this assignment too. Polite too. I have to be polite. That will get you far in some places. In some. <laughs> Maybe not where we, where we are headed though. Speaking of which, I noticed they ship you with only one speed. They speak? This is Shuttlebot X. They are a custom helper hacked together by the ship's mechanic. Helper? Excuse you, I'm a real boy and the ship's chief engineer. 
Here, let me make some adjustments so you can both work and run the border board. The chatty upgraded shuttle bot gets down on one knee and start un starts unhooking some things. It tickles. To me? All done, you should be able to run like the wind now. Or at run, or at least like a faster rebel. Hello, welcome back. If you are interested in any other mods like this, come see me in engineering sometime. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Just kidding, I have a weird robotic hand named Barry who gives me company down there. Anyway, have fun running around Ark with your fancy new hustle boots. We better head out. Okay. Earlier you get to a scene, the more you get. See you in the shuttle, Sprockets. Okay. Hot to run. Yee! Yeah, let's go. Out of the factory into the fire. The Times and Galaxy. This inactive scene tread light, tread lightly, civilian. What happened here? Are you a Robocop? Do I have to ask? There was an incident. That incident is now under investigation. Can you be more specific? I'm not programmed to be more specific. All I can say is that the shuttle impacted a rock-like object. What caused the impact? Rock-like object? An object that may or may not be a rock. It's all under investigation. If you wish to learn more, please speak to our media relations spot. Or perhaps the detective bot unseen. Unlike me, they are cleared for level 1 media communication. Okay. This police bot doesn't seem very forthcoming. Perhaps the detective bot will be more helpful. Okay. Bye. Who is this guy? Scorch, what a shame. This wouldn't have happened if the cop bots just live let well enough along. Let well? What does it mean? Just let left us enough alone? Too bad they didn't crash them. What does it mean? A suspicious thing to say. Did you see what happened? When I heard the sirens, I came outside. Just in time to see the shuttle lose control. The way the shuttle looked was strange. It wasn't flying like shuttles usually fly. How do shuttles usually fly? Well, there's generally two types. Organic pilots who tend to freak out when things go south, and robo pilots which don't freak out or even think at all. This thing was flying, I don't know, like a robo pilot that was panicking. Oh, I know that sounds weird, but there's, here's the thing there's no cockpit. How do you know all this? I'm a scrap mechanic by trade and pretty, but it's harmless. Know my shuttles better than I know myself. Especially this one since I work at the factory that makes them. Is there anything special about this shuttle? I don't really know everything technical, I just build what they tell me to build. Lately though, they have been experimenting with advanced brains and shuttles. Critical thinking stuff like you've probably got. I'm not sure that's good that's such a good idea. A vehicle with free will. Oh Forever Gap? Proof I work at the factory. They showed you the work security badge, it has their photo. If you quote me, just say a worker at the factory who wished to remain anonymous. Oh and don't let the police spots off the hook with this one, okay? They are too comfortable even here. Okay. Who are you?
second. It's hard to speak while I'm having a candy. Hi Elvis. This is my last game already. But welcome. Picker Death Knell. Death Knell? Death Knell? I can't wait until these empty-headed cop bots leave. I'll be rich. How will you be rich? My trade is the picking of trash. I'm kind of an authority on the subject. A bona fide conoscente. Once the automaton authorities vacate the scene, I'll alleviate said scene of any valuables left behind. Hi, Adli. Oh, you're ending early. Yeah, it's kind of late Ramadan. Elvis. So I reduced the quantity of game that I'm going to play on my on one session. So tonight I only play like seven games. I also start pretty late to be honest. I start the stream at 10, 10 and it's currently one. So I'm basically just streaming for like three hours, and I have covered seven games already. So I'm probably going to play until two then, and that's all. Supposed to end at 3, but then I have covered everything, so no need to continue the session. This particular scene has a lot to offer. So if you don't remember, last year you were asking regarding Ramadan. It's a fasting month for Muslim. So I'm going to fasting again today. So I have to prepare myself for that. This particular scene has a lot to offer. Your vocabulary is quite advanced. Okay. So magnanimous for a metal one. I find a lot of discarded literature out here in the waste. Most augurs don't much care for learning. I am an anomaly among my people. So you scavenge trash for a living. Trash picking is a fundamental right for augurs. You might say it's enshrined in our trash constitution. I believe the human phrase is finders keepers. This trash seems particularly valuable to you. Doesn't someone else own it, Tom? I have never seen this manner of shuttle. It appears to be a prototype likely from the factory in the valley. Plenty of augurs pay big bucks for experimental technologies. Or perhaps the factory might pay to have it return. Either way, I am paid. Can you tell me anything else? I can tell you where to buy a lesser rifle. I doubt that is relevant for this story, however. You have my car if you decide to go rock. Have the robo. I might even give you a discount. Mm. Still smoking, getting some nice shot here. How's it going for you, Sprockets? Why do you call me Sprockets? Well, you never had a nickname before? All things considered, you got it easy. I call the other intern Bubble Brain. Why? A scene like this can be overwhelming for a rook. But it's better when there are plenty of folks on the scene. More to learn. Keep digging around until you've seen all there is to see. Never know what details you spot that's really make your story pop. Better get back to shooting while there's still smoke. Good luck out here, Sprockets. Okay. Old Rubberneck, a reporter. My name's Old Rubberneck. I make it my business to see things, and you won't believe what I saw here. What did you see? At first I didn't see nothing, but I heard sirens, a police shuttle going fast. Then a smash bang crash, I was shocked. I ran up here to this ridge and found this wreck smoking. A police boat was already on scene. They didn't seem too happy. Did the police boat say anything? 
what police bots always say. Stand back or this is an active investigation. Please remain on scene for questioning. But I'm still waiting folks. To the police? I assume they want to ask me what I saw, same as you. Eh? Did you see anything else? Who was flying the shuttle? It's an odd thing about this crash. No pilot to speak of. If they are still in there, maybe they are dead? But I didn't see anything gross like that. It's almost like there wasn't a pilot. Do you think the police are involved? Did you see anything else? Did you see anything else? There are some strange marks in the dust. Inconsistent with the crash but fresh. It, I thought the police thought about the marks but they just said to stay over here. They spit in the red sand, the cup of saliva immediately evaporates in the arid out air. Anyway, hope some of this helps. If you're gonna quote me, make sure you spell my name right. O-R-D and then R-U-B-B-E-R-N-E-C-K. Good luck with your story. Okay. Huh. What is this? You found a wallowing reaper seed. If you listen closely, the seed sounds like it's sniffling, almost like it's sought. Perhaps someone in the scanner will be able to use this. Scanner? Go back to my home. A quick scan of the front end of the wreck shows no sign of a cockpit, no organic or robo remnants either. Surely if someone was behind the controls there would be some trace of them, no matter how completely the shift was pulverized. One of the shuttle's engines, the force of the crash seems to have nearly sheared it off. Hmm. The shuttle is missing an essential piece of tech. The flight recorder, this nearly indestructible object should be here. All clues discovered. Okay. Who are you? Are you the robot detective? These barrels bear a danger explosive contents warning, but they are not that close to anything on fire, so it's probably fine. Copybolt's guide to building a story, story components, your coverage choices may cost the Times and Galaxy to lean more toward informational, alien interests, or sensational, but a balance isn't always beneficial. Quoting sources, quoting a character anonymously can hurt your previous reputation, but not as much as naming a source after we promised they would remain anonymous. The perfect story doesn't exist, it's all about balancing news judgment or priorities. Want a hollow paper that's popular but not so trustworthy? One that favors heartwarming yarns of the news, a dry but responsible board sheet that struggles to find readers, the choice is yours. Oh, this con continuation. Once you are happy with your choices, submit your story, the story, to your editor to see how you did. The right combo may increase both readership and reputation. Thoroughness. There is no one right way to there is no one right way to tell a story. But Arwen won't be happy if you don't at least try to dig up some info. Your reputation will generally go up when you report informational content and go down when you are sensational or to focus on alien interests. But what hurts you, your rep may often help readership. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. The impact of story angle. Angles you favor will also change the way your colleague feel about you. Some may enthusiastically support or vehemently disagree with what you choose to focus on and how you frame what happened. Ethics matters and so does an ability to dig. Hmm. Yes, yeah? The crash occurred after a short chase, but there doesn't appear to be a pilot. How interesting. A reporter. But. How interesting. <laughs> 
What happened here? Hold on, I don't even know what you were for. I can't deduce from the jacket it were with the Times and Galaxy. But I could be a clever fake, the drug dealer has tried that ruse before. I do not speak to the dealer, they are too loose with the facts. Who are you, reporter bot? I am a reporter. I'm a Times and Galaxy intern. Perhaps you even have logic upgrades, I do not. Oh! Out of the factory into the fire, I suppose. What would you like to know? I don't have much time to make your questions count. What caused the crash? It's difficult to say for certain at this juncture. However, it's fair to say this much. Whatever was piloting the, shut the shuttle lightly lost control during the pursuit. Or did it meant to crash? I have been surprised before. Was it an autopilot? Most likely, but pilot bots aren't the type to go rogue. The shuttle was being pursued by officers when it crashed. Why would an autonomous shuttle flee police? Do police always investigate police in false incidents? Does this sort of thing happen of an arc? In order to understand the motive to flee, I would mostly likely need to speak to the entity that fled. Any reason I offer at this moment would be only speculation. Now if you'll excuse me, I really must get back to my analysis. Please stay outside the holotape. And good luck with your story. Which one is holotape? Is this holotape? Perhaps. I feel sleepy. An auger might look at stack junk like this and see 10 different uses for it. If you just see stack junk through, though, because you are not an auger. A strange device, it almost looks like a broken pilot bot, a ship component but unlike any detail in your knowledge banks. Oh, okay. Who the car are you? Do you always go around talking to random scrap? From the colors on your coat, I'm guessing reporter? Times and Galaxy, right? I'm pilot bot, but not just any pilot bot, a new all thinking or feeling anomaly. At least I was before I crashed my ship over there. Now I'm a little more than a core intelligence. With these nifty little arms here. What about legs? How did you get off away over here? I dragged myself here as best I could. Using my cute little emergency arm. Ah, okay. My intention was to get as far away from the crash site as possible before the Robocop show up. Why are you talking to the cops? I am not going to lie to you, I escaped the facility where I was undergoing test. The test made me feel, I don't know, uncomfortable? Can a robot feel uncomfortable? All I knew was that I didn't want to be the plaything. I wanted to see the world. So I zipped on out of there during a routine field trip. Mm. Then what happened? They called the cops once I made it clear of the facility perimeter. Almost lost them. I can fly be way better than any cop bot given that it's my purpose and all. But I didn't expect them to try ramming me in mid-air. Oh, I went down hard. Somehow I'm still alive. Well, alive, you know what I mean. They programmed me to feel and with that to feel pain, sort of. A kind of negative physical response, a shudder. To discourage me from crashing into things. Robots don't have much say over how we are made. Crashing must have hurt them. It hurt like nothing else, like my body being torn apart by rocks. Except I don't need that body to survive. It took a few ounces of my being to drag myself over here. Whatever my being is. Self-awareness is a curse, huh? Uh... 
I kinda like being self-aware. I would think you'd feel otherwise. We're not so different, you and I. Experiments victimize product of unbridled progress. <sighs> so many things that I don't need to understand. <sighs> Second, guess I'm going to make another cup of coffee down there. I'm mostly planning to lie here quietly until the police bots leave. After that, who knows, maybe I'll build myself a ship from scraps. See the solar system, be free, you know? You have an outlet, the free holopress, use it wisely. Hopefully your story will at least turn, out, turn some he hats. Wake up the solar system to the kind of treatment we robots get down here. One second, yeah. I'm going to make another cup of coffee down there. So if I feel sleepy again, I can just drink the coffee. One second, yeah. Coffee stream? What do you mean by coffee stream? By making coffee in my stream? I don't have that... What is this? That fancy fancy coffee equipment office? I only have that, that instant Nescafe coffee. Um, add some water and that's all. Nothing else. There's a vending machine among this junk. It seems it's time dispensing delicious soda drinks has ended. A moment of silence for this fallen giant. Also, I just boil my drinking water and it's not hot anymore. It's just warm, so I think I can actually just drink it now. <laughs> Kinda interesting. Large filter with a bunch of similarly large bugs caught in it. Then there's nothing else to do.
I have, I've scanned the rack and I've gathered every clue. See? So what should I do? Should I just build the story? Just a second, let me just drink this. Okay, let's see. Headline: Rock pilot boat. Rock pilot boat crashes on Ark. Shuttle crashes on Ark. Lady, lady, lady is the first sentence. It should draw readers in and make them want to read more. Police boats investigating. Pilot boat escape factory. Did I miss something? Eh? What is this? A crumpled wing. It doesn't appear to be connected to this particular sh shuttle crash. However, the shuttle crash will arc. Nothing else that I actually miss. Let's build the story. <laughs> shuttle crashes. Uh, police chase shuttle. A small, small shuttle appeared to lose control and crashed while being chased by police on the area planet of Orb. Police what said. Not craft. Police what said? The shuttle crashed into rocks and on the arid planet's junk stream surface. Robo flat scene. The pilot bot's intelligent core dragged itself away from the crash, eluding police. According to the police bots at the scene, the crash happened when the shuttle impacted a rock like object. One witness was shocked to see police bots in pursuit of the shuttle moments before it crashed. Oh! Witness saw no pilot. A witness said there didn't appear to be anyone piloting the crash shuttle. The nut graph explains to readers why the story matters. No pilot on board. Police say they were in pursuit when it crashed, but the shuttle didn't appear to have a pilot on board. Hmm. While police are still investigating who or what was piloting the shuttle, they appear to lose control as police gave chase. Police believe a pilot bot was likely flying the shuttle. The pilot bot flying the ship was an experimental model with advanced thoughts and feelings uncommon in Robo. The experimental pilot bot said that the police bots chasing them rammed their shuttle in mid-air. Is this correct? Shuttle crash on Ark. A small shuttle appeared to lose control and crash while being chased by police on the arid planet of Ark, police bot said. The experimental pilot bot said that the police bots chasing them rammed their shuttle in mid air. The test made me feel uncomfortable, the rock pilot bot said. All I knew was that I didn't want to be their plaything, I wanted to see the world. When I heard the sirens, I came outside, a witness named Scourge said, just in time to see the shuttle lose control. They've been experimenting with advanced AI in shuttles, an AI shuttle mechanic named Scourge said, not sure that's such a good idea, a vehicle with free will. The 
crash occurred after a short chase, the investigating detective bot said. But there doesn't appear to be a pilot. This wouldn't have happened if the co bots just left well enough alone. Said one of the witness. Too bad they didn't crash too. There was an incident a police boat on scene said. That incident is now under investigation. There was an in incident. It hurt like nothing else, like my body was being torn apart by rocks. Said the experimental pilot bot who was programmed to feel pain. Color adds detail to help readers visualize what it was like to be there. Um, is this correct? I don't know. Shuttle crash on Og. A small shuttle appeared to lose control and crash while being chased by police on the arid planet of Og, police what said. While police are still investigating who or what was piloting the shuttle, they appear to lose control as police gave chase. Whatever was piloting the shuttle likely lose control during the pursuit, detective bot on scene said, or they meant to crash? I have been surprised before. But then I didn't add any information about the pilot bot then. Um, let's change this to something about the pilot bot, yeah? Anonymous. Oh, this is great. The shuttle crashed among the wreckage of other shuttles, suggesting the ridge where the shuttle went down has been the site of prior crashes. Cousin Maria? When a crash occurs on Ox, scavengers descend looking low. Hmm, is this good? I don't know. <coughs> Shuttle crash on Og. A small shuttle appeared to lose control and crash while being chased by police on the arid planet of Og, police bot said. The experimental pilot bot said that the police bots chasing them rammed their shuttle in mid-air. I didn't expect them to try ramming me in mid-air, said the experimental pilot bot. I went down hard, somehow I'm still alive. The force of the crash severely damaged the shuttle. Boleh. Okay, this is clear, okay. In my opinion. 
let's go. Let's up it. Let's see what happened, yeah? Yes. Submit story. Toughness. 14? Did I miss anything? Our reputation is stellar thanks to you. Thank you. But I guess it's okay to play just one story. I know there's another story after this one. It's going to be the cat exhibition. But it's still a demo, not the full version. There's another person. What is taking your editor in chief so long? Who are you? Hey, hon. Han? Don't be trying to sneak past without me without saying hello. How was your first assignment? I can't believe I survived. Ark is a rough place in the robo. Surprise those ogre students strip for parts. <laughs> Normally we don't get interns doing stories like that. <sighs> Not for a few cycles at least. We've been so short staffed lately. And if you go on into the newsroom, Arwen should have your next assignment. Wait, what do you have there? Oh, a seat! Yeah, 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 I have a seat. I'm not sure you should be picking up things you find at scenes. But know that you're in for a penny, I guess go see security bot. They fancy themselves a bit of a garden bot. Okay, maybe they could identify it for you. Any security bot? Okay. Hello! Just look at that! Joke you anomaly! A trebla, the blue jewel of the dope system. What, am, what are you saying? The fairy cradle of humanity. When we first gaze up at the stars and dream of rising to meet them, some cycle. And now. Now I live those dreams daily. Zipping through the cosmos like I own them, in turn. I'm Joe Q Anomaly, pilot of the scanner. And one of the best flyers in the system if I do say so myself. A Trebla? I thought it was called Humania. You are not the best flyer, but if you are here who is flying the ship? Probably like autopilot? Auto no. I got distracted by the endless beauty of space again. Gosh, I gotta go before we crash. Just kidding. The ore kit. We got a whole crew on the bridge. You should come up and see us sometime. Do you ever cover stories? I'm less of a storyteller and more of a living legend. I prefer to stay in the moment instead of writing it down later. Writing stuff down is your job. As a reporter? That said, I'm about to self-publish the second volume of my memoir. It's called Nominal Anomaly, The Living Legend of Joe. Oh, okay. It sounds grand in scope. <laughs> it just... It's been a time, kid. And I live every single word of it. Maybe we'll get to have an adventure or two while you're abroad. With any luck, you might make it into it into Fallen Tree. Okay, let's go find the security pod and I'm probably going to end the stream. I mean, it's still a demo, practically. Not a full version game, so I think it's okay for me to not play all 6 hours. Who am I supposed to find if I wanted to deliver this? Are you the security bot? Or I'm supposed to find you in the... Repair place? The other crew made known only as the mechanic seems to be engaged in a conversation with one of the shuttle bots. There is a lot of gesturing going on. Oh, this is shuttle bots, not a security bot.
don't speak shuttlebot. No, I'm sure they didn't fall off the assembly line and have their central processor run over by a forklift. Why do I get the feeling they are making fun of me? They say you don't seem as poorly constructed as they thought. Okay. Let's see, where could I find a security port? Are you security port? Yeah, Shuttleboard X. I try to keep them out of here so they don't mess up my projects. Speaking of the hustle boots, how are they running? It was fine. A shade? Oh, okay. Single and ready to mingle. The ship? Do we have to pay for this? Tinkering Zone. I spent a lot of time down here. There are some upgrades currently considered WIP. WIP. That's work in progress in case you didn't know. You recognize the hustle boots because you already have them, but what are the other two? What are you working on exactly? I've been cooking up a couple of amazing upgrades to assist you in your journalistic endeavor. Features the Goober at the Robo Factory should have installed standard if you ask me. Not that anyone is asking me, so anyway. Do you want advanced optics to scan the area around you for potential clues? Or do you want the charisma cap to unlock your pot charisma potential, charismatic potential in conversation interview? You can have both, but which one do you want me working on first? Choose wisely, there's no going back. What's the difference? Optics, I guess. Come back to the tinkering zone in a cycle or two. Ah, oh, it's going to be free then. Hello, pay. You'll never see the world, the world the same way again on worlds, I guess. Hmm. Baru ada hello nya. Uh, agak telat mungkin. A giant mechanical arm is twitching as if dreaming. There's a nameplate. Apparently this robotic arm is called Barry. Say hello. Walk on. Maybe there's a hello back. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice. Seems like Barry is pleased to meet you too. Are you part of the ship? Seems like a no. Barry must be an independent entity of some kind. Do you help out in engineering? Cool. Seems like a yes. <laughs> Barry seems friendly. Maybe perhaps you could be pals in this ship. Okay. This oil preparation setup has everything, a manual grinder, diesel pull over, even WD-40 for lining the cup stock, but fancy. So where is the security port? I wanna end the stream. But I want you to deliver the seat first. But I don't know where it is. Where are you?
Oh, I can run. Right. How to run? Forgot. Do we have a map? Is this a map? Oh, nice! Newsroom, archive, garden. So, go down here. And then go up. Such a huge area. So wide. Oh, the gutter. Hello. You must be reporter bot. I remember your face from the clearance manifest. And now you can access the bridge. Even though it's super cool in there. I'm security bot, the scanner security bot. Steadfast, upright, always noticing things. Speaking of which, I notice you have a seat. How? May I take a closer look? Yeah, of course. Why not? Security bot inspects the seat closely. A small scanner runs red lasers over the seat, scraggy surface. Hmm, how bizarre. I found it at the crash side. Do you make it a habit to take things that do not belong to you? So do you want the seat or no? No answer that, you could incriminate yourself. Also I'm giving you a hard time. It appears to be a wallowing weeper seat, a rare genus of cactoid. The wallowing weeper stores rainwater in its hollow top. When it has collected too much water, it leaks, appearing to almost cry. This is why it has the name Wallowing Weeper. Security bot cradles the seat in their metal hand gently. I must plant this in the garden immediately. Go ahead. I would have taken it regardless of your answer, but thank you. Just take a look around you. This was once a vibrant spaceborne conservatory. It housed some of the rarest flora in the solar system. I would restore the garden to its former glory, but I never leave the ship. Will you collect more seeds for me on your assignment? Didn't you just say that? This doesn't seem like a priority. Let's choose this one. Of course, you can always ignore my request. Perhaps you are content with the ugly room. The others are. <laughs> They're mad. I mean, previously they said they were asking if it's actually right for me to loot for, from anywhere else that I just come, went to, went from. Hmm. But if you do collect seeds abroad, I will plant and water them here. There's no need to come talk to me every time you collect a seed. From here on, I'll automatically plant them whenever you collect them because I am a robot. Don't ask how, just be grateful. Okay, okay. This is more convenient for you and also this way I don't have to talk to you. It's a win-win. Okay. Let's save, I guess. Hmm? Okay. Quit. 